This is the back of my old pickup truck. Yes, this is my license plate, so you can track me down. And this is my rat. He's been sitting on the back of this pickup truck for quite a few years now. And his head is falling off. So he needs a, a rebuild. But I thought, you know, he's got these nice red eyes. Why don't we make those some LEDs? So I got myself one of these that will plug in to the trailer lights right there and then I can run it up through the back and out of this little slot right here and into the back of this rat maybe about right there then he can sit right there and he can have some little LED eyes that light up when I push the brakes or turn on the flashers or something like that and then we can glue his head back on. So this is a rat rebuild. We're about ready for rat surgery here. So here's the plan. We've got some 680 ohm resistors, a couple of diodes. I don't know what they are. I haven't looked them up, but I'm pretty sure they'll work for this. As long as they're not Zener diodes, but yeah, we'll just pretend they're not for now. Uh, I got a little heat shrink tubing, a piece of wire, and some of these connectors. I have a headless rat. And then here is the schematic. So what we're going to do, green is right, uh, you know, right turn signal, left is, or L is left turn, or the yellow left turn signal. Brown is the parking or running lights. And then the uh, white is back to ground. So what we're going to do, we don't want but 20 milliamps at the most going through here so I'm going to split the ground I'm going to put a 680 on uh, both of those and at 14 volts we're just over 20 milliamps but we shouldn't be at 14 volts right we should be at um, 13 and a half or something like that on our car so this will limit the overall current coming back or going going through these by uh, limiting what can go through the ground and then for the running lights, when the running lights on, are on, they're going to go through two more 680s. So the running lights will be at 10 milliamps because it'll half this when you run it through there again in the series. So the running lights or parking lights will be at, at 10 milliamps. So that should give us a half brightness or, I mean, it's not linear, right? So, but anyway, it'll give us a, a lower brightness. And then when you hit the left, right, this is also would be the brakes, then it'll give us full brightness. So it'll be limited here. So with parking, you're limited through these resistors and these resistors, and then um, left and right turn signal and brakes, there'll be no limits. The only other thing that we're doing is putting these two diodes off on, the, on, the, <clears throat> on the parking light line. That way, when one of these is energized, it won't go around and energize the other. So we're just isolating left and right with these diodes. That's all. Just so the current wouldn't flow like that. Give us a little more brightness when we didn't want. Okay, so that's the, that's the setup. So I'm going to solder this up. Probably going to use these connectors to go to these big wires. So I don't have to get my big soldering gun out. And then... Uh, I'll solder up the rest of these and then maybe stick some heat shrink tubing over it. And well, that ought to do it. All right, so I'm going to put this together. Okay, I've made several trips back out to the truck trying things out. And here's what I had to do. All right, the first thing is these 680s, I moved them up to 1000 because they were a little bit bright. So I just uh, raised them a little bit to dim them uh, a little. It didn't dim them that much, but it did dim them a little. Okay, then the second thing that I found was that when the parking was on power, so this, was, this would be at, let's just say, 
13.5. Well, these were actually had some potential to them, so they were at you know 0 0.5 or something like that. So what that meant was that power was running this way. Okay, so what I had to do was add diode. Uh, that's not how it goes like this. I had to add diodes to all of the power lines. So, well, you can't see it in here, but there's diodes now in all these in all these lines here. So all the power lines have diodes on them. These don't have resistors, all the rest of them have resistors. So that's the final schematic right there. So we got four resistors, four diodes. That's the way, so this is, um, this is LEDs right here, right? That's what we have here. Okay, so that's the final schematic for this thing. So now I'm going to put these LEDs into the rat eyes and then I'm going to glue, I think I'll use, I'll drill this out, I'll super glue these in from the inside out. And then I'm gonna use some shoe glue to glue his head back on, and then we should be ready to go. I got it all together, and I ended up with a loose wire some someplace. So I took it all apart again, and so here's the layout. I know all the wires are good now, okay? So I kind of put everything together. So here's my ground. These are my 680s, and then each one of these here's the uh, here's the running lights parking lights they go through the diode through the 1000 see this splits it also goes through the diode through the 1000 then we've got the diode from the left and right the diode just goes straight up to there okay so that is I don't know I can't get that to focus right all right, so that's the setup that I've got. Now I'm about to insulate this and put it all back together, get it into the head, glue the body up. Hopefully the next time we see this, it'll be running back on the truck. All right, there's an eyeball or an LED, you know, glued in there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Mr. Rat is back on the truck. I got the flashers on. So that's what you look at. It doesn't look very good on the camera, but it looks pretty awesome. Not on the camera. Let me, uh, I'm going to put the blinkers on. Hold on. Good. All right, that's the running lights. I'm going to do the brake. That's the brake. I mean, that's the running light. I did the brake. That's the running lights. Now I'm going to push the brake with the running lights. All right, that's the flasher with the running lights. All right, 
Let me get some. So, overall, I think it looks pretty cool. You know, it looks way better when, uh, it looks way better when without this camera. The camera's got so much glare. All right, Mr. Rat is back in business.